it's, it's no secret that exercise is, is good for you. But what you probably don't know is that there is a very strong body of evidence, uh, like good scientific research, that says that exercise is one of the best ways to deal with drug cravings. So in this next video, you're gonna hear from Dr. John Rady of Harvard University, the world's foremost authority on exercise in the brain, and all around thought leader, discuss how physical activity and exercise can help you to overcome addiction and cravings. In the morning at, at Treehouse, you know, you get your people moving, you're reducing their cravings, you're, you're turning the front part of their brain on because that's what evolved to help us be the best movers. And that puts the brakes on the impulses. That's why you've been so successful. When you're in active addiction, your body gets used to taking drugs. And when you first get sober, the removal of those drugs is going to be a shock to your system. And so you're going to go through something called post-acute withdrawal syndrome. You'll probably experience symptoms like anxiety, depression, irritability, fatigue, social challenges. But one of the biggest things that pulls people back into relapse is cravings. So what exercise does is really creates this cascade effect in our brains that allows us to successfully combat pause. It gives people a chance. It helps people mentally, emotionally, biologically, in a natural way. And exercise is actually the main way to do that. <laughs> Increasing your uh, dopamine and endorphins and things, uh, um, and it lowers your blood pressure and your cholesterol goes down and your GI tract gets better. Everything, multiple systems getting better. Basically, you're changing your brain chemistry when you exercise to uh, reduce the cravings. Using exercise helps calm the reward network down uh, and, and, and or helps sa satiate it. That's why you feel good in part. Okay, the reward network is part of the dopamine system. That's a big system in the brain. Dopamine is called the reward neurotransmitter. It's called the addiction neurotransmitter. It's called the learning neurotransmitter because it fits all those <laughs> names. Um, and it guides behavior. So you're fixing every cell in your body when you do exercise. That's why it works. The, the reward is you're going to have a blast in life. One of the primary roles of neurotransmitters like endorphins are to attach to the opiate receptors. And what this does is allows us to have an increased pain tolerance and allows us to, to feel good. With exercise, helping these people uh, save themselves from, from the cravings because there's a million other things that are involved, including oxytocin, including endorphins, including endocannabinoids, including serotonin, all these different chemicals. So what we're really doing with exercise is giving people an ability to create the necessary chemical changes in their brain to experience a new life. So oxytocin is the bonding and connection neurotransmitter, and it promotes things like relaxation, trust, and pro-social behaviors. Oxytocin in active addiction is really at a deficit. It's the bonding and connection neurotransmitter. And when it's at a deficit, you're going to have the tendency to isolate. And when you isolate, it's going to exacerbate the cycle of relapse. And so what we're really trying to do with raising oxytocin is to allow people to feel connected and actually become connected. Because feeling connected is a basic, fundamental human need. Doing something naturally means it's sustainable and we can keep doing it throughout our lifespan. Go for a run. Go for, you know, lift weights go to yoga, all of that has an effect on the, the, it pumping up dopamine if you want to make it simple. And it's probably useful to think it fairly simply because it, 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 it works.